Okay, welcome to the OKC newscast. My name is Kimberly Collins. I'm Chris C. Today we're going to start by going through some events that are coming up in Oklahoma City and in Norman. You can find a list of those at meetup.com slash pro slash techlahoma. By the way, we do know about the meeting pricing change, meetup pricing change. Don't worry about that. It doesn't affect us since Techlahoma has a pro account. Don't worry about that. All right, so on Monday, we have OKC SQL. We'll be talking about indis, indexes, indices in SQL Server. Yep. Um, Tuesday is our big developer conference, Thunder Plains in Oklahoma City. It's going to be at the Cox Convention Center. Um, most of our meetups and events are free, but this conference is paid. You'll need to buy a ticket. So if you haven't done that yet, you need to do that before Tuesday. Uh, go to thunderplainsconf.com and you'll see the screen and that's where you can go buy your ticket. There's a great lineup of speakers, so be sure to check that out. Uh, also on Tuesday evening, we have Free Code Camp Norman. Uh, this week we'll be continuing to working on Hacktoberfest. Uh, so if you're still needing to get your pull requests in, that'll be a great time to get together and do that. We'll talk a little bit more about Hacktoberfest later too. Uh, Cocoa Heads usually meets on the third Thursday, I'm not sure, but they had to change their schedule. It's going to be Friday the 25th. They're doing lightning talks. They call them lightning connector talks. This one is lightning connector talks to too swift, too synchronous. That should be really fun. And so I think they're open to guest speakers, so go check that out. Sunday we'll have She Codes OKC. Uh, they'll also be working on a Hacktoberfest, I guess. Yeah, so bring your laptop. We will come help you uh, get your pull request done. OKC okay, Design Tech is going to have folks from the Tulsa UX group come down and give talks, Max and Karina. So check that out. If you can't, most of these are going to be on Twitch if you can't join us in person. Uh, we'll have OKC C Sharp next Monday for Lightning Talks. Do we have the speakers signed we up? We do. For that? It's going to be Alex, Aeon, uh, Mandy Howell, Danielle Chitty, and Jeff Maxwell are the three or four speakers. Uh, Free Code Camp on KC this month is going to be on November 10th. Uh, Silas is going to be talking to us about uh, something he had posted on LinkedIn. I thought it would be a good talk, so I asked him to come and speak. And so that's what we're doing this time. All right, so moving on to some other events. Uh, Control Shift Code School. Uh, it is a code school for uh, survivors of violence and abuse. You can visit them at control-shift.dev. Um, they're looking for speakers and volunteers for teaching assistance, so if you have some time to spare, uh, definitely go and sign up for that. We have the channel in Slack, Control Shift School. Um, you can find more details there. Yeah, they're going to be getting into CSS and design theory, and they could definitely use some people to just come by. It's between 8 to 5, Monday to Friday, just a few hours of your time to help these ladies uh, get started with coding. So Hacktoberfest, uh, if you haven't heard about it, is an open source um, kind of celebration in the month of October every year. Um, th this year, if you create four pull requests on GitHub, uh, DigitalOcean will send you a free T-shirt. So uh, we have lots of issues that need help with around um, the tech Oklahoma. Yes. Uh, we have issues up on GitHub, and if you have some time to spare, definitely check out those issues, and um, that'll be some great volunteering work to get those pull requests done. For sure. Um, we have coffee and code meetups throughout the city to get together and work on things. This month we're doing Hacktoberfest. We've had one on the north side of town, the south side of town. Basically wherever is convenient for you, we'll find a time and place to do that. Work on some projects and tutorials, get those pull requests done. Uh, join us in the Slack channel, OKC Coffee and Code, to find out more. So some more about Tech Oklahoma. We are a nonprofit volunteer run organization. We host 39 meetup groups and two annual conferences. Uh, one is the Thunder Plains that's coming up. Uh, we sponsor a ton of free local events, and our mission is to advance uh, Oklahoma's grassroots technology community. You can find out more at techoklahoma.org. Uh, lots of different ways you can connect with us. We're on Facebook, Medium, Meetup, Slack, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Lots of different ways that you can be part of our community. Uh, connect with us on Slack. We have um, a bunch of channels on pretty much any topic you can think about. Uh, we have um, a jobs channel, for example, if you're looking for work or looking to hire some folks. Uh, you can find more instructions how to join that at fccokc.com slash slack or on techlahoma.org slash spaces. And you go to slack.techlahoma.org to sign up, but when you sign up, it is 
techlahoma.slack.com, a little bit confusing <laughs> there. Uh, we do have a code of conduct that applies there in Slack, in person in our meetups. We want to make sure that everyone in our community feels safe and respected. We have a code of conduct. Please read that. You're agreeing to that when you show up and when you interact with us online. Uh, if anything does happen that we know about, please just let us know right away so we can take care of it. We have an incident report form on our website. We have an Ask Amon channel. You can tag admins in Slack. Lots of different ways you can let us know so we can handle it right away. Uh, there's lots of ways to get involved with Techlahoma. Um, we have a list of talk requests at speakerswanted.techlahoma.org, and there's other ways to volunteer uh, at help-wanted.techlahoma.org. And some of those are coding related, but lots of them are not. Lots of those we just have tasks that we need done on a monthly basis or so, and the more people we can get involved to help us, the less each of us needs to do. So we're streaming to twitch.tv slash techlahoma. Most of our meetups that happen here in Oklahoma City uh, are, are streamed there. You can watch them live and ask questions in the chat, and we'll relay those questions to the speaker. Or if you can't watch live, uh, the videos will be there immediately after the talk. And you can also see questions that are being asked in the Twitch chat channel in Slack. Uh, on our Twitch channel, if you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. Um, through Amazon Prime every month, and Techlahoma will get a small donation through that subscription. And so uh, if you do have an Amazon Prime account and you aren't using the subscribe feature yet, uh, definitely please go to the Techlahoma channel every month and hit that subscribe button. Yeah, we've got more information and instructions on that at twitch.techlahoma.org. Uh, we only get a couple dollars e each time, but it's every month that you click that subscribe free button, uh, we get that donation, and it would really add up if everyone did that. We're thinking about buying a new microphone, and that's uh, where we could get the money from that from. Um, all these videos are also on YouTube at youtube.com slash techlahoma. We're getting really close to 600 videos. Uh, we have tons of viewing minutes and viewers and subscribers, playlists for all the different groups and topics, and we'd love for you to subscribe so, we, uh, so you can see our new videos. I'm going to switch over to YouTube there. Um, have you seen any of these talks, Chris? Yeah, I was at the, um, the integration testing with Frisbee. Yeah, um, that was with Vance Lucas? Yep. Um, Alex gave a talk on Hacktoberfest, just a really quick intro to Git and GitHub. Any talk that Aaron gives, uh, I enjoy. Uh, so even though that was Ruby and I don't do Ruby, I still uh, went and listened to his talk. Yeah, that was a great one. I haven't watched this one that Doji gave at the product meetup. I should check that out. Oh, yeah, it was there in person, too. Uh, the, the career newscast. development That panel. was a fantastic one. I think everyone should watch that. We tried to have questions that applied to new developers all the way up to senior developers. So I think anyone could get some really good advice from that, from Caitlin, Alex, Rayner, and Jeremy Waller. Yeah. The so panel was really great because it had a nice range of yeah. experience. I think we're so. do that more often. I think it got a lot of good uh, discussions going in the group, and I think everyone really enjoyed it. So I'm yeah. going to try to get more of those going. Um, the newscast that y'all did last time, and then the one in Tulsa. Um, the Tulsa folks had a talk on CourtBot. I haven't watched that yet, but oh. that shows what they've been up to at Code for Tulsa. And then I think we're getting close to where we left off last time. So yeah. there's our YouTube stuff. Going back to our slides, uh, this is the last one. We're just talking about our newscast. If you want to help us out, either by um, being up here and reading the slides, it's not hard to do. Uh, join us in this newscast channel. We're also you know, open to content or just uh, feedback that you all have for us. And uh, we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Anything else you want to say? No, that's about it. OK, great. Thanks for watching.